everybody. You got Penguin here. Uh, welcome to the, I think it's week 10. Sounds about right. Not week 10, episode, episode 10. 10. Episode 10. And with me in the studio again, as usual, is... Sigma. Sigma, what's what's rocking in your world? What uh, Enlighten me on some stuff. Well, it, this wasn't really... I didn't think this was important enough to put on, but uh, Blue Ridge Rock Festival. Got some updates from them. Okay. I can't remember the numbers right now, because again, I didn't write it down. But... They last, um, like 2022, they were found guilty of not paying their bar staff the proper amount they should be paying them and keeping their tips and everything, like, you know. And they have now been found guilty of that to where they have to pay about maybe 5000 to $6,000. Per bartender? Well, six, okay, let me present. Five hundred dollars. Oh, that's a big difference. That's I, I've had that number in my head, and I don't know why I said six thousand. But yeah, um, that happened, and then they were found also found guilty of not paying a rental service, you know, for their trucks to go back and forth for bands bands loading on their gear on their stages and they had to pay well yeah about a quarter of a million to those to that company as well so we're talking about upwards close to a million dollars so far yep and if they're not putting on the show how are they going to come up with that money there's another thing that people were talking about 2024's passes. They were like, how are they putting on passes and how is it getting sold out already? And there's not even a lineup in talks. Apparently, they said the website hasn't been updated since uh, 2023 because it says 2023 Blue Ridge Rock Festival on their website. But if that's true, why are there tickets? for 2024 and this is something i want to ask you i whether it i don't know what they use P, php or uh asp but that's that's the right one asp mm -hmm. is there a, a thing to where you can sort of set up a timer to where it says the moment it hits 2024 it updates automatically or do you have to go in and manually in 2024 it depends on how it was written okay because yes if you're updating from one year to the next there's a you know scheduling dates and everything would have to be updated manually but for, but they haven't done dates it's more just the the 2024 summer passes and it has the how much each pass is what you get <clears throat> that that's all it was updated there are no dates in the other here days. again you can set it to do it either way um you can set it to where uh like on some of the sites i've written at the bottom I, i'll put like the date and so it, it'll update on its own every you know every day new date and time um so that's it, probably what has happened it could be and and they have the, apparently they have have it on a timer with what a lot of people think to where every pass that's crossed out that we think people have bought we probably just think it's on a timer and once that timer ends you can't buy that that pass anymore. it's possible so because they're uh the uh pr um I, I can't remember her name but she said we have not updated it since last year we are still trying to work on resolutions for the fans that came well it sounds like they don't want to pay a webmaster to actually do the updates and to do the things and, and make it so i mean nah, i don't know yeah oh well, that's pretty much what's been happening so how's your uh not vr your uh vtube vtube it's so far it's been pretty quiet which scares me but it's been pretty quiet so far what's the latest on your character um uh, i got my, i got mine done okay uh it's like it wasn't that much because normally v2 models go up to thousands upon thousands of dollars for very goodly highly rigged ones but mine was about what, what, what would you say 
three like four yeah it was it was it was in the neighborhood of three yeah it was around that and it's not bad i mean what what is the character it's a, uh a vampire character uh all right yeah well um Red eyes. so no update on what's her face has she been found yet uh who didn't didn't one of them like disappear or something? I mean, they didn't like you know find her on Gilligan's Island or anything. I thought you said one of them, she just like disappeared off the face of the earth. Maybe I just imagined that. Maybe you did, or maybe I'm not remembering saying. I don't remember saying that, but okay. either, either way, I don't remember. All right. Um. So, there's been some interesting things happening around the world. Especially in uh, Russia. In Russia. Mother Russia. Um, Russia. They fell under a terrorist attack where four gunmen um, went into a concert hall and opened fire on everybody. And uh, from what I, I, I still understand... The death count is over 140, with another like 180 injured. Now, the images that I that I watched um, in the videos that took you know, they didn't the concert. I never saw it full. When the shooting was going on, it was it was never. They said it was sold out, but it appeared to be almost empty. Now I don't know at what point did the video start.
matter how hard you stomp it out. It, 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 but you want to hear something? And you're going to disagree with me on this. When Trump was in office, you hardly, hardly heard the name ISIS. You, you, you didn't hear it. I, I mean, heard it a lot more. Not when Trump was in office. You yeah, when Trump, when Trump was in office, I heard it in 2020. I heard it in 2021 and 2022. Okay, guess what? Trump wasn't in office those years. Biden was. Trump left office in 2021. That's when Biden took over office. I also heard, well, I heard it in 2020, and Trump was still in office. That was his last year. Uh, well, yeah. So I, I mean, I, I think they they went into silence a little. I think probably heard it in 2019, but I can't confirm nor deny that. Right. But in 2021 or 2020, I started, that's when we started to hear about them again. So, well, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't have any facts, but I just know that. You didn't hear a whole lot coming out of Russia, except for uh, the Democrats blaming the election on Russia. And then, you know, said that Trump was in cahoots and Russia staged our election. That's how Trump won. And then the funny part about that was, is during the investigations, the Democrats found out that themselves that they were guilty. I see. I, I, I Here's the thing. I think Russia would help whoever they they. I I do think Russia can interfere with our election. That I do believe. I mean, it, it's Russia. What what do you expect? But I don't think they pick a side. I think they pick a side who they think will benefit them. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, that's the whole thing. They're going to pick who will benefit them and who they're not uh, afraid of. I mean, you know, that's why they tried to help the Democrats. You think they're going to be afraid of Hillary? There ain't nobody in this world, literally in this world, that's afraid of her. Okay, now I'm afraid of the Clintons because the thing is, if you go against the Clintons, you end up missing or dead. Okay, think about that. I don't have a list. I had a list uh, back during the election of the people who went against the Clintons on anything, who stood up to them, who accused them of stuff, and they ended up missing or dead. Here's a sad thing the, with the Clintons, even their own party went against them. Oh, yeah, That's absolutely. Sad. Absolutely. That is sad. Absolutely. Uh, um, it's like, I, I think, here's the thing. I don't think Putin was afraid of Trump. It, I just, Putin's really not afraid of anything. Clearly not. Um, uh, but I think I think they would have they could have had a hand and help a little bit of hand helping Trump. But at the same time, it would have been the same thing if Clint, if Hillary won the election, they would have had they would have helped her as well. So I don't know. I, I still think they just they it's not that they they're afraid of Trump. They just Trump was such a loose cannon. You didn't know what he was going to do. And I think that that's where Russia had an issue with him. I, I, hey, I, I have a theory. What's that? They're talking, people are talking about how this could be Ukraine and everything. What if it was Russia? I don't understand you. What if? What if it was Russia what? With the ISIS attack. It was Russia. No. What if they're the ones who kind of... Attacked themselves? It's possible. It's possible, just like a lot of people think we attacked ourselves on 9-11. There's no thinking that. I think we, I pretty, it's pretty much evident that we already did. Well, I, there's a, there's still a whole lot up in the air about that. Um, I mean, it's it, it's possible. I don't know. Because, because, think of this. Putin wants to take out Ukraine. Right. He blame, He doesn't blame Ukraine, but then he blames Ukraine for it. For the attack. Yeah, exactly. Okay. What better way to blame Ukraine and, and make a lot of people hate Ukraine than to get yourself, then attack yourself and put all the blame on that country that you're trying to attack? That way you get more support? Well, if you watch, if you watch the interview with Zelensky about it, how did he put it? He said it doesn't surprise him that uh, Putin and other scumbags are trying to put the blame on him. And he's like, yeah, we didn't have anything to do with this. Um, I think, though, if if, if it was, Ukraine was going to do something like that, I think it would have been 
not a hit on a concert venue like that. I think they would have uh, done a bigger hit on the government itself. I mean, I mean, if yeah, because they're going again, because they're fighting Russia. Of course, you would go against the government building instead of just a random concert. Yeah, right. And I just don't see Zelensky uh, attacking innocents like yeah, that. Yeah, he wouldn't. Hard. I mean. You know, nothing, all, all is fair in, in war, as, you know, but I don't know. Yeah. And uh, in our home front, in our own backyard down in uh, Baltimore, we had a ship hit uh, uh, the, the Francis Scott Key Bridge that just celebrated its uh, 40-something, 47th anniversary or 70-something anniversary or something like that. And it, in one hit, it... The entire bridge collapsed. It spans over a mile. In one hit, it collapsed. Now, I'm going to play this video, okay? I don't know if I'm starting a conspiracy here or what it is, but you can't tell me that that ship didn't turn. And hit, they said the ship didn't have any power and it was just drifting. And it drifted and it hit the, the support structure, knocked the entire bridge over. If you watch this video I'm about to play, you'll see there was smoke coming out of the stack, which meant the engines were running, and it wasn't just a little bit of smoke. It was a lot of smoke. The ship diverted and made a sharp right turn and hit a direct hit onto the thing. So, I mean, watch the video. Okay, right now, lights go out because they said they lost power. But you'll see the lights go out and go on. Right now, no smoke. Now, smoke has started. Just a little bit. There's a lot of smoke, and look at the sharp right turn it makes. Just as that smoke starts coming out. Lights go out again. I think, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. And I mean, then it, it hits it with a direct hit. Yeah. And uh, that tractor trailer truck right there was lucky. Yeah. And then when it when it but it made the right turn and then it straightened out. And then boom, I it's ship lights going out on ships is not uncommon during a lights flickering on ships uh, is not uncommon in a power out because sometimes there are gen, nowadays on ships there are generators, even ones that don't require the ship's power to keep lights going so people can see what they're doing. So that flickering could come from the generators. Now, well, but they, well, I would say yes, but it really wasn't flickering. They went out, they went on, they went out, they went on. Yeah. But what gets me is as soon as that thick smoke started coming out the top is when it made that sharp turn to the yeah. right. Like, but mean, that, that power, it reminds me a lot of what people said happened with the Titanic. I mean, because it went out for a few seconds and then it went back on. Right. So I can totally see that happening, but... But totally different scenario. Form of electricity. Yeah. Okay. The electric electrical power on the Titanic ran off of the engines themselves. So uh, the ship's name was uh, Dolly, and it. Uh, let's see. Uh, apparently, there were eight people on that bridge at the time it hit. Um, two of them were rescued right away. And we found out today they did find two bodies inside of a, a, a red pickup truck. Apparently, one person said he knew exactly what happened. He knew the people. They were friends or relatives. And they were in their truck. They were taking a break. They were in their vehicles getting warm because it was cold on that bridge. And uh, when, when, the, when the ship hit and the truck went into the water and they found them, you know, they had drowned in the, inside the truck. But there are still uh, four people now that that are missing, um, and that's that, but they have uh, changed it from a search and rescue to a search and salvage. So basically, they they're saying they're if they're in the water, they they can't survive because of temperature of water, and they said right now that the it's too unsafe for divers to continue to search for them because they said the water was so black you could only see a foot in front of you. You know, I mean, it's still, um, let's see, a mile and a half uh, carries Interstate 695 over the Patasco River. The bridge itself was fully up the code. 
Now, there, apparently there was something about the ship to where it was, it had issues when it was in, you know, docked up. Um, but they said it was it was good to go. I don't know. Haven't heard any word about past inspections or anything like that. Um, what did it get launched by Harlan and Wolf? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Jesus. Um, but you know, Biden has said that they're going to you know, spend the money that we're going to spend the money to rebuild the bridge to get everything done now. And he was asked by a reporter, "Well, wait a minute." You know, this was a ship owned by a company. Don't you think that company should be held responsible? And Biden basically said, we're not going to wait that long. We got to get stuff moving now I because mean, that's such a crucial bridge. And he's not wrong. You he's gotta, not wrong. You got to get you got to. And then you'll you'll go back and say, OK, was this company responsible? Were they not held? Are they not supposed to be held responsible? Well, but here's the thing. In the press conference, <clears throat> Biden was on his way to North Carolina. And somebody asked him, don't you think you should be going there? He didn't answer. He turned around, walked off the stage. I mean, you're the president of the United States. These are questions you should be answering. Why do you feel it's more important to go to North Carolina than it is to go to where a disaster just happened? Um, was there not enough people that died for you? You know what I mean? Was the death toll not high enough that you felt like you should go? I mean, he came to Pennsylvania, you know, to Pittsburgh when that bridge collapsed back in, uh, when was that? That was 2022. I thought I put something on here. That, that had to be towards the end of 2022. Uh, it was actually, I want to say it was January of 2022. Because remember, mom had her stroke in 22, in July. And we were driving at the time. I thought I put something in here about that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, you know, he... he uh, he came here to inspect that. I, I mean, we don't really know what the what the press conference in North Carolina or the the meeting in North Carolina was. So maybe that was also pretty important. I don't know. I mean, I don't know, but I I just think that he still. Has, I mean, I haven't heard anything about him making any plans to go. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, I think he might soon. I don't have anything else to say to you. Not really. All right. So, uh, you know what that means? Uh, you know what it's time for? Yeah. Would you rather? Wait. Question number one. Would you rather win a top prize for a work of art you've created or earn a patent for an invention that you've made? Hmm. I'm going with the patent. I'd have to go with the patent. What's your reasoning? Well, it, uh, it's like... It's not every day you're going to see a pat an, an an invention idea. But you could get a reward for art you made almost like it, you know. Well, depending on what the prize is for the work of art. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. If you have a patent, you have the potential to make a lot of money. Oh yeah. Okay. By selling it, by people um using it. Using it. You'd make more so, money by people using it than So that's why I'm gonna go for the patent. All right, so we agree on that. Yes. Question number two. Would you rather spend a year in a convent or a year living in a Las Vegas hotel casino? That's kind of a no-brainer. What's a convent again? A convent would be like a, like a, a monk's monastery type thing. Convents where nuns are... are um, 
become nuns, you know. Uh, Las Vegas. I mean, I think it would be cool living in a Las Vegas hotel casino. If you had all the perks and everything. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't have to do anything. Everything's done for you. <laughs> so, both going to go for Vegas. Number three. Would you rather go a year without desserts or have to eat a spoonful of wasabi every day? Every day. Hmm. <laughs> you said no desserts for a year. Yes. Or and I'm going to guess day. every single day for a year. Yeah, we're going to go with that because if it's every single day for the rest of your life, oh, that would suck. Yeah. You would die. We're going to have to go. I'm going to have to go. Well, I don't like wasabi, so I I'm going to have to go without desserts. I hate wasabi so much. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to have to go no desserts. All I right. We've agreed on three out of three. Number four, would you rather have your heart broken or break someone else's? I'd rather have my heart broken. Next question. No reasoning or. I'm not going to say reason because my reason will be depressing. So, no. Well, I'm going to say the same. I'd rather have my heart broken simply because. I... Having had my heart broken. I know what it was like for me and I I mean I don't I would I don't wish that on anybody exactly so and yeah all right number five would you rather spend a winter in the snowiest reaches of Canada or a summer in the driest part of the desert Oof. what's 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 that that saying it's easier to warm yourself up than to cool yourself off well, the, 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 my theory is this. You can always put more layers on, but once you're naked, you can't get any more clothes off. Yeah, I'm going to go with Canada. Yeah, I'm going with Canada, too, because just because you're up there in the coldest reaches of Canada, in the snowiest, doesn't mean you're going to be without a fire or without wood. You know, I mean, you, I, you know, we've survived some brutal winters. It's barely. Yeah. I mean, they, when we lived in Lindora, House. coldest part of the winter, we lost power. Which, Dad, that was very convenient. Yeah. And, I mean, the temperatures were like minus 40. Once we lost power, it took it about 20 minutes, if that, for the house to get below freezing. I mean, it was freaking I, cold. I, I'm shocked we survived that. I am too. I mean, I remember Tracy called me, and it's like I can't talk to you because I have to have my head outside the the blanket so you can understand me, and I'm I'm covering up with everything I got. I w I would have just taken my phone under the blanket. <laughs> well, but then he didn't. I mean, the reception was messed up or something. I don't know. But anyway, that was Would You Rather. Right. I think that's going to kind of conclude our show. I mean, we mainly just talked about the Baltimore Bridge or the Francis Scott Key Bridge. And you know why it was called that? Apparently, Mount McKinley is not far from there. And that's where Francis Scott Key was. It was, for, excuse me, Fort McKinley. And that's where he penned the poem that became our national anthem. So it was close by there. And that's why it was called the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Because, you know, he was the one that wrote the poem for it. So... All right, everybody. This is uh, this is Penguin Sigma and Sigma saying until next week. Saying be somebody important. Be yourself. Peace out. <laughs>